Wow, scientists have found a lost city beneath Egypt's pyramids. And it's incredibly large, bigger than the biggest target you can imagine. Underground chambers, passageways, and vertical structures – scientists have no idea what purposes they serve. But let's start from the very beginning. Italian and Scottish scientists studying the Pyramid of Khafra discovered something that looked like secret tunnels under three pyramids. This find might change what we know about ancient Egypt. The expedition, called the Khafra Project, was led by Corando Malunga from Pisa, Italy, and Filippo Biondi from the University of Strathclyde, Scotland. Their mission was to focus on exploring Khafra's pyramid, the second largest on the Giza Plateau. Scientists uncovered a massive structure beneath the Pyramid of Khafra. Could it be an ancient Egyptian underground city? The experts analyzed the data they had and came to the conclusion that eight large vertical structures could be hiding beneath, possibly wells or shafts. They extend a staggering 6,500 feet across. Imagine placing two and a half Burj Khalifas on the ground, one after another, and you get the sheer size of this find. These shafts also plunge nearly 2,000 feet underground. Some of the deepest underground stations in the world are located at a mere 380 feet underground or so. These cylindrical shafts are surrounded by spiral paths. Picture some old Gothic castle. They're connected to two giant, weirdly shaped chambers. Are those cubes? Or possibly bowls? Each of these chambers is likely more than 260 feet across. Now, even though we know about the structures now, no one has figured out their original purpose yet. Want to hear something even more shocking? Okay then, the team is almost sure that similar access points can be found under all three pyramids. In other words, all of them might be linked by a hidden system of underground tunnels, chambers, and passages. Even deeper, about 4,000 feet under the surface, there might be more unknown structures. And doesn't it add to the mystery? But the coolest news is that, according to some team members, these hidden structures near Giza pyramids could align with the legendary Halls of Amenti. In ancient Egyptian mythology, it's a place where people are believed to arrive when they're close to the end of their days. There, they are said to take a three-day-long trial, facing their biggest fears. Now, how did scientists even discover these hidden spaces? To uncover them, researchers used two satellites positioned 420 miles above Earth. They sent radar signals to the Giza Plateau, and these signals generated detailed images, which were later compiled into a 3D model of the underground layout, including the newly detected shafts. Then, using synthetic aperture radar, or SAR technology, which is a type of radar that can penetrate through stone, the team also spotted five small room-like structures hidden deep within the pyramid. One of these chambers contained a sarcophagus which was once thought to be the tomb of Pharaoh Khafra. But now, scientists believe this was a mistake. The true burial site is likely to be elsewhere. In any case, these five hidden rooms were completely unknown before the scans. They seem to be arranged in the center of the pyramid and are linked to underground pathways leading somewhere below the structure. There's an opinion that these tunnels could lead to more hidden chambers and wells. Some of them might be around 4,500 years old. Wow, what if they help us solve ancient civilization mysteries? Preliminary data suggest that all this underground space can be much more than a few empty chambers. There might be many more hidden structures near the Giza pyramids. How come? Well, the thing is, the structure appears to include hollowed-out sections with spiral pathways leading even deeper underground. Refining the images hinting at this could reveal an extensive subterranean network. It might be a whole city hidden under the surface. Now, despite the excitement surrounding these findings, there are also a lot of people who don't believe in the existence of the underground city. They're skeptical about the archaeological discovery in Egypt due to the lack of peer-reviewed verification. That's why several archaeologists and radar experts have challenged the validity of the claims. They've explained that the technology used to make the discovery may not be advanced enough to produce such detailed underground imagery. According to them, the five smaller chambers found near the surface could be natural formations, since the area had had sacred significance long before the construction of the pyramids. Some experts have even dismissed the use of radar methods in this context altogether. 
they call these methods scientifically unproven and question their accuracy. The discovery has also reignited discussions about ancient Egyptian myths and the possibility of hidden texts lying somewhere beneath the Giza pyramids. The layout of the newly detected underground chambers shares similarities with mythological accounts of the Hall of Records, a rumored chamber that could preserve early Egyptian wisdom. If confirmed, these findings could significantly reshape the understanding of Egypt's sacred topography. Plus, this lost city beneath Egypt's pyramid could become physical evidence of previously unknown underground structures. That's why the Khafra project is super eager to begin excavating to confirm their findings. But getting approval from Egyptian authorities is a challenging process. The discoveries still need to undergo peer review before they are accepted by the academic community. By the way, this recent archaeological discovery in Egypt comes on the heels of another discovery involving a weird structure beneath the Royal Giza Cemetery, which researchers believe is unnatural in origin. Ooh. Archaeologists used remote sensing techniques and uncovered a mysterious L-shaped structure underground in the Western Cemetery of Giza. This area is known to house burials of royal family members and high-ranking officials. Many of the tombs in the cemetery have above-ground mastabas, rectangular stone or mud-brick structures with flat roofs. But there is an area in the center of the cemetery where there are no above-ground structures. To investigate this unexplored region, the team used electrical resistive tomography and ground-penetrating radar. ART works by sending electrical currents into the ground and measuring the resistance to detect remains. As for GPR, it sends radar into the ground and maps the structures based on the radar's return. The team found an anomaly about 6.5 feet beneath the surface. It appeared to be an L-shaped structure measuring at least 33 feet in length. The reading suggested that the structure had been backfilled with sand after its construction. This made the team hypothesize that it could be a mix of sand and gravel, or possibly an air void. This anomaly was classified as a highly resistive structure, which meant it didn't occur naturally. Motoyuki Sato, the study's lead author and professor at Tohoku University in Japan, claims that the structure is not a natural formation due to its sharp shape. Another weird thing about ancient Egyptian pyramids is that historians have long believed that they were built primarily for royals and high-status individuals who had the wealth and power to create such massive structures. However, new research from the archaeological site of Tombos in modern-day Sudan challenges this assumption. The thing is, Tombos' pyramid may have served as burial sites for low-status workers as well as elites. The hard-working members of ancient communities may have found their last resting place in some of the most visible monuments, including the pyramids. Located along the Nile River in the ancient region of Nubia, Tombos became part of Egypt after its conquest of the area around 1400 BCE. That's when Egypt established the site to strengthen its colonial control. Workers at Tombos built pyramids, but those were much more modest than the famous pyramids of Giza. The research team reanalyzed 110 human skeletons from Tombos, originally studied in 2012. In particular, they examined the entheses, the areas where tendons and ligaments attach to bones. Such an analysis can give us insights into the amount of physical labor a person performed. When someone does hard labor, their bones often develop distinct crests and ridges at these attachment points due to the stress on the tendons and ligaments. And while some skeletons showed little change in their entheses, suggesting they belong to individuals from the upper classes, others showed more serious changes. It means they belong to lower class workers. This finding can totally challenge our earlier understanding of pyramid burials, especially the idea that only elites were buried in the pyramids, because the pyramids themselves were designed for the elite. This recent research may prove that lower class workers may have found their final resting place in these monumental structures too. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.